Chief Cox. Yes. Cambiamos, ¿no? Ah, sí. Este, Hello, I'm, sí. my name is Bob Colley, and I am uh, speaking on behalf of Chip Cox, and uh, he could not be here due to transportation issues, and I'm waiting for my presentation to come up. Perfect. Okay, um, Ampath is a uh, regional uh, group that is focused on connecting uh, higher education institutions and universities in uh, Latin, South, Latin and Central America. Um, it has really three different major projects. One is the Ampath International Exchange Point in Miami. Um, which is also a distributed exchange point with locations in uh, South America. Um, the AmLight environment, which on which the uh, AmPath network runs, uh, that uh, gives 140 gigabits of connectivity to um, South America and Central America. And then Atlantic Wave uh, SDX, which is a newest uh, item that we are working on, uh, focused on a software-defined exchange uh, that allows for the various national entities to connect uh, with each, within the software-defined exchange and the individual participants to create virtual exchanges on top of the existing exchange. Um, so I've covered many of these things. The um, regional exchange point is based in the NOTA facility in, uh, in Miami, um, and it is obviously the main point of interconnection in um, uh, Miami for much of South and Central America to the U.S. and the U.S. research and education networks. Um, so Amlight is, uh, as you uh, let's see, I have a bigger, better picture. So Amlight is um, a growth of connectivity out of Miami uh, that is primarily uh, oceanic connectivity that was uh, 40 gigs and is in the process of going to 140 gigs and uh, has the definite capacity and plan to be over 680 gigs uh, in the next couple of years, uh, supporting substantial traffic both to the internet, to various peers, um, as well as research and education interconnectivity in uh, South and Latin America. Um, under the hood, um, Amlight is uh, focused on a um, software-defined uh, open flow-based network uh, that allows for direct interconnection across a virtual infrastructure. Um, so therefore, other national research and education networks can connect both to each other, as well as to the US, as well as uh, using Atlantic Wave uh, going all the way over to um, the, uh, all over to Europe. Um, when you look at the environment, um, obviously it's got a set of switches which interconnect the various environments. Um, and then uh, the control plane infrastructure that supports the software-defined network. Um, this is probably a much better picture of it, uh, showing you the linkages uh, from Miami all the way out to Amsterdam, throughout the United States, and then uh, quite a bit of linkages in uh, South America. Um, the, the network supports both uh, academic connectivity um, as well as connectivity that is focused on um, traditional internet connectivity and it's segmented in the environment to make sure that they are able to um, both have no contention uh, between each other in traffic. Um, the environment, this is not a multilateral peering environment. Uh, each participant must make an arrangement with the other uh, in order to transit traffic or peer traffic. Um, Ampath itself, the exchange in Miami, uh, has over 550 different settlement free peering agreements, um, as well as connectivity amongst the Canadian, South American, and, uh, and all the Americas uh, for academic connectivity. Um, Ampath is focused on uh, devices that are primarily in Miami, but also extend all the way to Amsterdam and uh, through the Florida IX in that area. Um, we certainly support um, all different uh, uh, link speeds, uh, having customers connecting at 100 gig, as well as, of course, IPv4 and v6. Um, in addition, uh, the environment provides an opportunity for internet transit uh, with a number of tier one providers. Um, utilization, 
has certainly grown and um, the various links uh, and I showed earlier that we're moving to 140 gigs on the environment. Uh, we currently are utilizing about 35 and the entire environment uh, currently sees about 60 if you don't include the long haul transit. So what's next? Um, many of you may be here talking about their, your move to software defined exchanges uh, which allow all participants as well as participants behind those participants to have direct interconnection uh, across a virtual fabric. Uh, the underlying infrastructure that exists supporting the AM light environment uh, as well as combining that with AM path uh, creates this larger interdomain environment that uh, many can use to connect uh, both to each other uh, without direct coordination through AMPATH or AMLITE uh, using uh, various SDN componentry. Um, this, in the use of time, I won't go over this slide in much detail. This shows generally the ability for uh, autonomous system A to be virtually connected to autonomous system D even though the underlying environment uh, is not a direct connection. Um, and then when you look at um, what we've designed but not deployed yet, uh, we have the environment so Southern Light, Ampath and SOX can all communicate with each other across this software defined exchange, um, making an entire virtual fabric. Um, when you look at SDX applications, you can certainly set rule sets uh, in the control plane that will do many things in much more detail than what has ever been available on uh, the traditional exchanges allowing you to do traffic engineering and application uh, management throughout there. Um, you can create policies based on basic packet data uh, and you can also unify that information with uh, other data that is from other internal and external reporting systems and uh, tools. Um, as an example, uh, if traffic was destined to uh, port 80, then you can forward uh, from ASN A to B. Uh, however, uh, if it's some other destination, uh, or as indicated, you can jump it the other way, uh, which allows you to create the software-defined exchange uh, with much more uh, capability than traditional exchanges. Um, so right now where the status is, uh, the environment is being specified. We're expecting to have it available as a prototype during the Internet 2 Technology Exchange in the U.S. in September um, and we're hoping to have a demo at that point. Um, generally, uh, in summary, Amlite and Ampath uh, serve as a platform uh, that allow extensive peering and interconnectivity amongst higher education uh, universities and colleges, uh, not just in South and Latin America but also uh, going throughout the world uh, across the software exchange exchange that we're, we're deploying. Um, when, we, when we deliver this, it's going to create a couple of challenges uh, because it will potentially use substantial more capacity than was done before and traffic flows may not be known uh, before the exchange actually exists. So traditional traffic flows between ASN A and ASN B uh, that we generally see that are relatively predictable across an environment that uh, allows software defined exchange, um, there can be substantial sh shifts of traffic uh, without expectation. Um, any questions? Gracias. Tienen, eh, ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta? ¿Alguna pregunta? Eh, tal vez yo una pregunta, eh, te la voy a hacer en español. Eh, en, en mi país, en Ecuador, eh, hay una red eh, académica uh -huh. y que hemos eh, tratado de conectarla a, al punto de intercambio de tráfico. Sin embargo, la, la red académica eh, todavía no está preparada para, para este, conectarse al punto de intercambio de tráfico. Tienen su infraestructura para la parte de investigación. Esa parte eh, no se desea mezclarla con el Internet tradicional. Entonces, eh, en, tu, en tu presentación, eh, ¿cómo, ¿cómo se mezclan estos mundos de, de la red académica y, y el Internet eh, regular que tenemos todo? Um, 
My Spanish is okay. <laughs> not, not, uh, not certainly excellent. Uh, thank you for the question. Um, I think that you indicated that your um, national network um, and your um, education network um, have interconnection, um, but the uh, level of preparation uh, for this environment is something, you know, is beyond where you currently stand, is that correct? Uh, the, the, the problem is uh, the academy uh, is different from internet. Yes. And SEDIA uh, uh, is the, the educational network in Ecuador, and they have a, a network for uh, research. Right. Uh, it's not connected to the internet. Okay. Um, this environment, we transit, we, we transit across the exchange point, both academics exclusive uh, across either VLANs or software-defined networking, um, or, and we can also at the same time transit internet. Um, and this layout that is uh, proposed here will allow us to uh, allow both to use the same infrastructure um, and potentially peer with each other, but the uh, academic institutions will have the ability to not have traffic contention or traffic concern uh, between the, na the traditional internet connectivity and academic connectivity. Um, so it, it make sure I, I, this environment can certainly support interconnection of the two while pr providing an environment that supports both of their individual needs. Eh, ¿Alguna otra pregunta? Ar ¿Arriba hay alguna pregunta? Sí, por favor, eh, puedes preguntar. Hola, Fabián. Sí. Ernesto Pérez del CEDIA por acá. Eh, nosotros estamos trabajando para eh, la red académica nuestra, tener la separada de la red de lo que llamamos nosotros la internet comercial en todo caso, ¿no? Uh, eh, the networks are connected at a like, one level, but they are separated at a, uh, across the uh, either at a VLAN level or an in SDN. Well, uh, currently our ISP is doing the the job, uh -huh. uh, but we are working to improve the the network and to use our own uh, network inside Ecuador for the academic network and for the um, uh, commercial traffic, as we call it, we will use uh, different we, different channels. So mm -hmm. this is not um, uh, how to say a, a big concern at the moment. You know. Okay. Anyway, we are also always willing to 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 be part of uh, NAP Ecuador. Yes. I don't know. I'm, I'm sorry that I don't know the uh, abilities of uh, AMPATH to connect to the NAP Ecuador, um, but I do know that uh, there's substantial connectivity available to Miami. Yes, indeed. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Gracias. ¿Alguna otra pregunta? Muchas gracias. Thank Un you. Un aplauso, por favor.